Hello, dear teachers. Welcome to our Lingua Tea Club. And before we start our lesson, I want you to think about how you teach reading and which steps you follow when teaching reading. Today, I will show how I teach reading with the help of the course book English for the Sixth Grade. Hello, boys and girls. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. How about we play a game now? It's called Rebus, by the way. Let me explain the rules. You look at the pictures and think of the words in them. You'll see a comma to the right or to the left of the words. You need to cross the commas out. You get a part of the word now, then you put together those parts and make a new word. Now, let's look at these pictures and try to guess the secret word. Look at the first picture. Can you tell me where the cat is? Is it on the table? No. Is it next to the table? No. It's right under the table. Now, cross out three letters from the end of the word under. So, what are you left with? Correct, U, N. Now, let's look at this picture. Do you remember last time we talked about school subjects? Can you tell me what subject is it? Right, it's information technology. But how do we say it shortly? Correct, IT. And what about these letters? It looks like something is missing. We usually ask this question to know the reason. Which word is it? Correct, Y. And the missing letter is Y. So, what do we have now? Unity. Unity. There is a famous Kyrgyz proverb which says, Our strength is in our unity. It is also one of seven sermons of Manas and the saying about unity. It means when you are in agreement and join your efforts, you become much stronger. So, when you can't agree with each other, do you live in unity? No. When you make plans together, are you in unity? Yes. Now repeat this word after me. Unity. Unity. Okay, how do we spell this word? U N I T Y Unity Where is the stress? Unity Which part of speech is it? Correct It's a noun Is it countable or uncountable? It's uncountable All right, what is this? It's a twig. Is it a small branch of a tree? Yes. Is it a metal? No, it's wood. Now, repeat this word after me. Twig. Twig. How do we spell this word? T W I G Twig. Which part of speech is it? Right, noun. Is it countable or uncountable? It's countable. A twig. Okay, what's this? Is it one twig? 
No, a bunch of twigs. Can you use it to make a fire? Yes. Now repeat this phrase after me. A bunch of twigs. A bunch of twigs. How do we spell this phrase? A B U N C H O F Twigs Is it a word or a phrase? Yes, it's a phrase. Now, open your copy books and write the words down. Today, we're going to read a fairy tale. Now, can you look at these pictures and try to guess what the fairy tale is about? Now, read the fairy tale and compare your ideas. You have three minutes. It's time to work with your classmate now and compare your ideas. Explain to each other what the fairy tale is about. Now, let's share our ideas with the class. To me, it's a very interesting story about the wise old man who taught his sons to be friendly in a very unusual way. Read the fairy tale again and decide if these statements are true or false. Now, work with your friend and compare each other's answers. Okay, let's have some exercise now. Stand up, everyone. What are we going to do now? I read the statement, you step to the yes corner if the statement is correct and step to the no corner if the statement is incorrect. Ready? The old man was upset because his sons didn't bring the twigs. No corner. Other young men were their friends. I'm still standing here. The old man wanted his sons to live in unity. Yes, corner. His sons easily broke a bunch of twigs. Incorrect. No corner. Now, sit down, everyone. Work with your classmate again and discuss the following questions. What is your favorite fairy tale? Why do you like it? What did you learn from it? Okay, so now work with your friend again and repeat back to each other what your friend told you. Also ask if it was right or if you missed something. And that's all for today. I want you to write about your favorite fairy tale and the proverb that describes it. Goodbye, see you next time. Dear teachers, I'm glad to meet you again and have some tea time. Okay, let's discuss our demo lesson. 
Do you remember what I did to prepare my students to read? Yes, I showed some pictures and asked them to brainstorm about what the fairy tale is going to be about. Did this activity raise students' interest? Yes, we can't force our students to read the text without preparing them. So please, prepare a set of questions or a mini-task to prepare your students to read. How many times did the students read the text? Yes, they read it twice. And what was the purpose of the first reading? What did the students practice when I asked them to compare their predictions with the text? Exactly, the students read the text to understand the main idea. As for the second reading, what was its purpose? Students read the text and corrected the false statements. Why was it done? You are absolutely right. This exercise helped students understand specific details. Do you remember what I did in the last stage? I asked students to work in groups and discuss the following questions. What's your favorite fairy tale? Why do you like it? And what did you learn from it? This time, students talked about their preferences. So it's very important to connect the task to the student's previous experience, since it motivates students to communicate in the class. If you're going to have a reading lesson, please plan it carefully, step by step. First, prepare them to read. Ask them questions and puzzle them to raise their interest. Second, prepare the task to check their general understanding of the text. And only then jump into details. And of course, always give students a chance to share their personal experience or real life stories. Students love it. I hope the lesson was useful and that you can conduct a very interesting reading lesson after watching this video lesson. If you have any questions regarding the lesson or methodology, please write to our email or in our website forum. Need to get this info. Our Lingva Tea Club is always open to our professional talk. Goodbye and I'll see you next time.